okay guys welcome back to my dev Mrs. youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a super user account for your production environment so for you to be able to do this you need to have connected your django project to a database so uh, i have an article on how you can host your django project on vessel so let's say you are using the vessel hosting platform for example although what I'm going to show you works for any platform at all that you're using for deployment. So, like I said, let's say, for example, you are using the Vessel hosting platform, then I suggest you check out my earlier videos on how you can deploy your Django project to Vessel, how you can also set up the database for your production environment. So, let's say, for example, you've done that, you've set up your database for your production environment, and as you can see, you get the following configurations from your database. You have your password, your name, your user, the host, the ports, and the engine. So in this case, for example, we are using a PostgreSQL database. So let's say you've done all of that. You've gotten it. All you need to do to be able to create a super user account for the production is to add those values right here. Now, most of the time, you're going to have a different database that's one for development and one for production. So for you to be able to create a super user account for the one on production, all you have to do is, uh, let's say on platforms like Vessel and Netlify, what you have to do is add the database configurations locally right here in your EMB file. So like I said, I've already set up everything, like set up environment variables. If you don't know how that was done, I will add that on the, description as well or i'll just add the link to how you can set up a database from production so if in case you are confused in any aspect you can check that out so let's say you've done that already i'm assuming you've done all of that so i'm just going to be focusing on creating a super user account so all you need to do is after you've added the uh, database configurations locally like this all you just need to do is come down here and run your command python manage.py create super user right after you've done this so we need to give it a name so let's say we call our super user admin2 email is admin2 at gmail.com uh, I think I've made a mistake I need to do it again okay so the password should be admin201, admin201, yeah, I'm just creating a very simple password, admin201, okay, so after I've done this, you know it's connected uh, to the database through this configuration right here, that's the production database. If I now go on the production link, which is it right here, let me go to that place, for example, okay, as you can see, let me log in with the account, you can see that this is a production link, this is not localhost, so let me log in with the account, that is going to be admin2. And then password is going to be admin 201. You can see that we were able to log in successfully, and this is the production link. So the, that's all you just need to be able to create a super user account for your production environment. So you know, once you have a super user account, you can create uh, other users right here from the dashboard. That's one of the cool things about Django. So that's all for this tutorial video. So in case this has helped you in any way, please ensure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.